and I get to hear babies cry. That's always good. Hearing babies cry. That's how I get. Damn it, books! I told you about that. <laughs> Apparently, that's how I get the uh, basement keys because she can't get the blood out. Oh, nobody's home. What's my health? Deep into that darkness. Oh. This can't be happening. I thought the emulator like glitched and reset somehow and I was like, I didn't save! Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I did save. Okay, cool. We're gonna save again. Alright, let's go back to No the door is locked. A small antiquated key, somewhat rusted by the ravages of time. This is the key to the basement of the Royvis Mansion. That's the same description. Effects, we're good. Oh, hello! I will definitely take a pump action shotgun. And some ammo. And some more ammo. And some more revolver ammo. Do I have a revolver? I do! The safe is large and old-fashioned, made in the days when security was derived from the heavy metal construction rather than secure locking mechanisms. It doesn't look like it would be too difficult to break the combination. If only Alex had a stethoscope to hear the tumbles, tumblers more clearly. Fuse box and circuit breaker array is situated upon the wall. All but one of the fuses are intact. The absence of this one is suspicious, and until it is replaced, the circuit connected to it is useless. Trip the breaker. Hey! Now there's another turret. Well, that's been... That's been cemented up. That's probably good, actually. We don't really need to be going into the <laughs> ancient city of evil. <laughs> Mechanical device is secured to the floor. Long metal screws hold a dull metal dish firmly against the floor. A locking mechanism is fixed to the top of the dish looking toward the ceiling. This is how we get to... Oh, Jesus God! This can't be happening! Thanks, game. That's just to get me every freaking time. depiction of some monstrous landscape a blood-colored sky hangs over a dementedly surreal land in which flayed skins flap in an acidic breeze what mind could have conceived this I'm pretty sure it's mine there you go with the eyes are up here again he's just blatantly staring at my breasts what an asshole <laughs> So is it 
this room? <laughs> it is. An antique medicine cabinet hangs on the wall. Its wood is stained from years of use and the ambient humidity of the room. Should Alex open the cabinet? Sure, why not? Hidden away inside the medicine cabinet is a chapter page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? Yep, a legacy of darkness. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. Wait, are you sending that thing after me? Uh. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. It is only a place for me. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Pray oh. to me anyway. <laughs> That's what killed Grandfather. Wait, what? Inside an array of unctions, potions, pills, and ointments to cure all ails, including hypochondria. Edward was quite nervous about his health as if the whole world depended on him. Oh, another Max journal page! Hell yeah! There's a page from Maximilian Roivis' journal. It reads, My favorite portly dude. I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learned to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. Okay, Max. in there clearly let's go check on our rat friend because goodness knows I could use some good news you in here little buddy there he is oh hey friendo I like my little rat friend I wanted to come in here we've already had the jump scare in here I guess it's not really a jump scare it did make me jump and scared me, but it was not a jump scare. There's really just the one. The bathtub. Oh, the Winchester Model 1300 Defender is quite possibly one of the finest pump-action shotguns available. The unique slide action operates a rotating bolt, and unlocking is recoil-assisted, making it very fast and smooth to cycle. Well, I'm glad you finally get to go home there, Magnor. Be safe going home. And I'm a zombie. Alright, right, can I stop being a zombie now, game? That was a hell of a way to start a chapter. Uh-oh. Are we Grandpa? Hey! My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. <laughs> How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. 
how Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Right? Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believed that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. Like you do. I intended to find their secrets. Oh. Politely, she asks Egbert if there's anything she can do for him. Punch the fire, please. What is that? A journal of family history rests on the mantle as if used recently. I got a historical journal. And liquid courage. A small flask of the old sauce. Liquid courage, a magical elixir to power one's spirit in the face of adversity. Bottoms up, using this will regain sanity. <laughs> okay. An old musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the early history of the Royvis family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Should Edward get it out? Sure. Minute hand of a clock. This appears to be the minute hand of a large clock made from stamped brass. All right. Punch this vase thing. Oh, examine. These books contain the history of the Royvis family, genealogy, birth and death records, deeds, and writs. The Royvis history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the early Royvises were shunned by other settlers in North America. Suspected of witchcraft, the Royvises were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Royvises rebuilt their lives. Yeah, we've, we've heard that. What? Okay. That's it. Yes. What's up, Max? Tonight you'll be visited you by three ghosts. I am the portly one. Although you are doing your best not to believe it, I am or was Maximilian Roivas, your ancestor. I died in an asylum after trying to warn the world. The pain and anguish I felt in that cell has empowered me to linger after my death. I must complete what I started, Edward. The darkness must be stopped, or all of humanity may end. Sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Somehow I figured. Oh, hello! Magic pool. What the hell is magic pool? Am I stupid? There's no spells. I don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness yet, right. Edward's favorite reading chair faces a healthy, warm fire. No doubt many cold nights are ahead. Hello. A looming grandfather clock stands ominously in the corner, gazing on the empty room with an almost patriarchal air of its own. Oh, so the clock is the patriarchy. The ghost asked Edward to set the clock, but there are no hands on it. Edward must find the clock hand so he can set it properly. I mean, I found one. Apparently I have to put them all on before I can set the time. Oh. Okay, that'll be what opens the passage, probably. I think that's what opened the passage before. 
Okay, where did the nice maid lady go? I don't want her to jump out and get me. Oh, there she is. Excuse me. Are you a bone thief? No? Okay. Just checking. Hadn't built the observatory yet. Hmm, okay. I guess that'll come in the... I didn't catch what year it was. Screw this, I'm leaving. Edward's curiosity can't leave the mystery alone. He drives himself to uncover the truth behind the mansion and his ancestors. Yeah, of course he does. Let me guess, does this clock have an extra minute? A large carriage clock sitting on the foyer table. Beautifully crafted, but it appears to be stuck with the hands permanently set to 333. Oh god, you scared me again. As Edward nears, the servant stops mumbling to herself and asks him if he thinks the weather will clear up before the solstice. Edward finds the reference to the solstice rather odd and ponders its significance. Oh god, she's a bone thief. Ammo! With no one living in the house for a long time, it's no wonder the pantry is empty. Edward lives out of the refrigerator, so to speak. Okay. So to speak. A grandiose kitchen fireplace. With all the amenities of modern life, it hasn't been used in quite some time. Oh, hello! The servant notices Edward's presence and comments on the weather. Idle chit chat. Okay, so you might not be a horrible critter. That's cool. We'll just wander around until something happens. It's, it's fine. Edward has never learned the Panano, but that has not stopped him from hammering away at the keys now and again. It's very therapeutic. Perhaps one day he would learn it properly. Perhaps. But then again, perhaps not. Hello. Putting around with the crockery, the servant informs Edward that the table has been set for him just as he likes. An antique cavalry saber mounts it on a display stand gleams in the moonlight. Hell yeah, cavalry saber. This is what Max used to use to murder things. Yep, that's the same description. Okay. A bizarre decorated mantle frames the fireplace, adorned with odd sigils arranged in a circular fashion. It is unlike most of the art in the house. Perhaps this has some special significance? Yeah, perhaps. I didn't see what I was looking for. Alright, what's what's for eats there, Hoss? Apparently we don't have time to eat, never mind. Sure hope we can solve this mystery. The president's daughter's been kidnapped. It's up to us. Oh. Servant notices. Oh, okay. Why is the basement always locked all the time? Check out these doors. These are different. I think. At least the creepy bust isn't here looking at me. Asshole. Brooding melancholic paintings adorn the walls. Strange choices of decoration for a bedroom. Each one seized with a virulence that can only have been wrought by an unsound mind. Sure. Oh. Hammo! An expansive fireplace inset on the wall faces the bed. No doubt, if it were lit, it would make the room quite cozy. Hey, buddy. Courteously, the servant asks if Edward is in good health. Okay. Don't mind me, Mr. Servant Dude. I'm just gonna drop a quick deuce. The master bathroom is woefully spartan and only barely contemporary. It appears to satisfy the most practical of tastes, or perhaps someone who has their mind set on other things. I mean, it's got a sink and a turlet and a tub. I'm good. I don't even know what else you'd need. She informs Edward that she believes the weather will worsen, and that she hasn't heard it being this bad for many decades. Hmm. 
Tell me you heard that. Hey, hey, hey. She did not hear that. Okay. An exorbitant and out of place stained glass window ends the hallway. Whoever put it here had eclectic taste and confirms Edward's belief that the mansion is more folly than a real house. You're a, you're a folly. Your mom's a folly. Oh. Oh, there's a shower here now. Muttering to herself as she works, the servant comments on how the mansion is never really clean. Oh, I didn't even see her. This room is a holdover from the days when the servants were all residential help living in the mansion. Rumor has it that the old servants' quarters were demolished long ago. Yeah, because there was evil in there, apparently. At least according to Max. Finally. Shogun Shell. Elephant gun ammunition? Hey, buddy. Hey. Curtis Lee, the servant asked if Edward is in good health. Okay. This room has become a second late night study. Edward has grown accustomed to the ancient feel of this Civil War themed room and feels he can concentrate quite well in it. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet, itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the window to get inside, but where did he leave the key? Oh, Jesus. Okay, another historical journal. A Spartan bed, vaguely fashioned after colonial trends, offers small comfort to the weary. It hasn't been slept in for a long time, and that in itself is a testament to its luxury. Ah. An old musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the recent history of the Roivas family, going back perhaps 150 years. There appears to be something between the pages. It is an hour hand. Okay, cool. Well, now we've checked everything. Illustrious landscape reflecting the spirit of the American colonists. This painting predates the 18th century. A priceless treasure. Edward has taken care of it by brushing off dirt with rubbing alcohol. And not painting, you know, skin flapping people? No? Okay. Struts his ass in there like he owns the joint. Ah, there it is. Take them and use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my waste. Okay. Shogun shells. Oh, and a gun. Okay. And elephant gun ammo. There's the Oublier Cathedral, yep. Camels. There's the pillar of flesh, okay. Hmm, a detailed drawing of a surreal city, reminiscent of old ideas for futuristic cities. Its draftsman was very talented, for as he stares, he believes tiny inhabitants peer at him from the shadows. Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. 
Hey, there's that place. Yeah, okay. Fine, I'll pick up the book. This Dread Skull contains a s scroll, contains a secret of arcane magic. It reads, this magic transforms the inert, innate magical energy of the environment to the self. The limitless power of the ancients will be at your disposal for the duration of the magic. Once the magic has waned, you will be bereft of spiritual power until it naturally seeps back into your being. That doesn't tell me anything. Upon the desk was the work of a madman, frantic scribbling on torn notepaper that had somehow weathered the years. Were these Maximilian's ravings laid out in choppy scrawls of ink? Or the testament of humanity's savior waiting to fuel the battle against the Guardians? I mean, it can be both. All right, so now when I leave, something awful is going to happen. See? I hate being right all the time. What the hell was that? Um, excuse me. Finish her. Half a key tumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. It glints on the floor. Found the bottom half of the basement key. I mean, it's only the bottom half if you hold it that way. What the hell was that? That damn thing is gonna run around and kill all my servants, isn't it? You guys okay? Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Where's that? That is upstairs. Crap. My phone keeps lighting up. I think. Crap, is that this bedroom? Nope, it was this bedroom. Hey! Stop attacking my, my ass. Stop. Stop sucking the blood out of me, you dickhead. I will kill your whole family. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Shit. I had no idea that thing was so tough. Bottom half of the basement thing, yeah, okay. The hell was that? Dude, you okay? Servant is too frightened to move or speak. You are now free to move about the ass kicking. Can't save. That's okay, I just steal. Get off of him! Come on, over here. 
Stop that. I will seriously destroy your entire everything. You better run, you dickhead. Okay. Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around. An extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. Oh, yeah. function allows the character to change the fire selector on guns how are we three chapters from the end and we're getting new uh buttons oh i could fire one at a time or two at a time that's cool we know it went to the basement yeah i know you're oh there it goes come here So it go upstairs. Oh, for God's sake, Edward! Ah, shit. blow its damn face off oh my god that actually I actually went through the door better run and I went back downstairs and re-energized okay that's fine you okay buddy Grateful for having their life spared from the monster, the servant offers a token of thanks. Oh, hey. I appreciate you. Put that back on one at a time. So it doesn't knock me on my literal ass. Oh, there it is. Hey, buddy. It still knocks me on my ass. Quit pointing at her! Yeah, because that's what it means. Get off of me. Oh, my health is low. Shit, okay. Chased it away again. Vampire drops the top half of a key onto the floor. Hell yeah! Okay. Oh, wait, I can go get it now. Duh. Then... I mean, I can't use that now. Okay. Then, we reload our elephant gun. All right. This ugly bastard does not have a chance. Whoop. Ha! Ha! Dude, turn around. Don't pick up. Reload. Okay. Dude, not cool. Oh, 
I wish you would go straight to hell. No, I'm trapped. Ooh, a double shotgun. Dude, get out of the way! Okay, I got the heal from that. Summon horror? I swear to God. Die again. Running over there. Fuck. Huh. Oh, my God. I didn't save after any of that. I'm the biggest idiot ever. I've been spoiled by autosave. I'm just gonna gonna let y'all know that now. The fact that this game has zero checkpoints, you only save when you manually save, has screwed me so many times. Wow, it was actually walking right in front of me. Hear that? That was neat. That's why I didn't save, because I can't. Awesome. Hunting wabbits with an elephant gun. Yep. I can't save while that thing is on the loose. Turn around, Edward, you dumb shit. Dude! Seriously? It's gonna kill me again because I can't turn around! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! Why doesn't it let me save when he's litter he's obviously not anywhere? And Edward, being just a little wussy psychiatrist, has a health bar that's about that long. Wait, I'm playing in an emulator. I don't know what the save state button is, and apparently tab isn't what brings up a menu. I just want to know what the default button is. How do I open the fucking menu? I can't even figure out how to do uh, how to cheat. Accessing the menu. I don't want to... <sighs> okay, it looks like the default... Shift F1? Alright, let's try it. Save state! Alright! Then we save. Get off of him. Yeah, come over here. Dude, oh, son of a bitch, you killed him! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Edward. Wait a minute. <laughs> Come here, hit me. Here! Thank you. Dickhead. 
Oh, here he comes. The game won't let me save here, and so to save time, so that I'm not having to constantly redo every there all of this entire section, I finally figured out how to uh, use save states. See, that wasn't so bad. There we go. He'll run downstairs again and get all pissy. Then, can I save now? No, it won't let me save until that thing's dead. Save again. Okay. Let's go get it. Simple obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the well. A runic design is carved on side proclaiming its allegiance. Spell magic, maybe? Why is summon horror here? Does it want me to summon a horror? Now it'll let me save the old-fashioned way. Inside the well, a crumbling ladder leads down into the cloying darkness. Should Edward venture down the ladder? He should not, but we're gonna, because we're stupid. Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel. But the thought of what lies inside, the guardians of Zelototh, Edward shiver with fear. 
Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. I mean, maybe. Examine. As Maximilian had mentioned, the ruins of the ancient city of Enga were parasitized by the guardians. They had slaughtered the original inhabitants and fed upon them, laying waste to their civilization. The ghosts of the glorious past lie forgotten, and the chitterings of the parasites echo amongst the remnants of their legacy. Oh, hey, fellas. That joke, and I'm proud of it. Oh, hello, Guardian, and another horror. Oh, God. Hey. Get fucked up, son. Guess who can shoot you in the face now? It's me. My my enchantment's already gone. Shit. I hit it. Reload the damn gun. Going, asshole. Huh? Where you going? You know, if you're just gonna dick around, I'm going to uh, re-enchant my my gun. You big ugly bastard. You know what? We're giving you both barrels. As soon as I find your ass. Whoop! Holy shit, I got it! Dead! 
Damn, Edward! You get him, son! Spell this? I cannot, okay. These plinths, plinths, look like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City, where he found the essence of the essences of the ancients. Edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be. Oh, it would seem as though the array itself serves as a massive circle of power. Each switch around the perimeter of this room corresponds to a focusing tower, where a rune may be scribed. Once a spell has been scribed, it is magnified by the array. Could this be the Guardian City's weakness? If one could somehow remove the magic from this area. A pulsating field of energy emanates from the stone. Should I ever touch the field? No? cast a big ass fuck off spell yeah. oh shit gun bullets do I have left I'm on my last two oh shit okay this is fine really wish you'd light somewhere so I could shoot you I'm not on my last two Oh, 41. Oh, okay. Shit. So I guess we're going up here. What is this? A lever situated nearby. Should Edward pull the lever? Yeah, hell yeah. We're all about pulling levers here. What door did it open? Must be this one. Oh, ho. okay, okay. I see what you're doing. So look, that should have a root. Yeah, okay. That's way cooler than the the JPEG we got uh, from just inside the basement. I 
don't trust this at all. Oh! Here stand the remnants of a forgotten museum. Perhaps long ago, the alcoves now sealed with the clouded glass would have been filled with the creatures and artifacts of lost Enga. I see a big scary thing and a zombie and some sort of I don't know what. Oh, I don't like not none of this. Let's go over here and see what we can see. That's a, a big scary thing. That's a horror. Ooh, that's a Chaturga version of the whatever thing. Let's hope they don't all jump out and get me. And if they do, let's hope we can run. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn it, Edwin. I don't actually think I care about you guys, honestly. Hey, I was right. Oh my god, there are too many of these damn things. Sure, why not? At least it doesn't appear that I have to fight a guardian at each one. More Pargon. We will have all the Pargon. What was that choice? Some of the Pargon? No, all the Pargon. that oh there's a heart this is great hole before he zots me. What are you casting over here, dickhead? Oh, there went all of my health. Here. No, 
no summoning to horrors. Oh, okay, it wasn't a horror. Okay, I think one more shot should do it, right? Whoa. It did. didn't need to kill that thing. I could have just pulled the lever and run. Hey, Phineas! Just resubbed for 28 months. Question, is this a small number? Uh, in, in the long run? Like, on geologic terms? Yes, extremely. But, like, as far as me streaming? No, no, that is not a small number. Bangara Park. Shoot it! Shoot it! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. Okay, seriously, shut up. Where you at? Jesus, oh, there's another one. Where are you going? Oh, there you are. Oh, wait. Bangara Park. I... Huge stone block marked with bizarre etchings dominated the room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? Or a bastardized interment of its loathsome conquerors? I say yes. Yes, it is. Uh oh, I'm about to get zapped. I know you didn't just try to shoot me. Why do you reload one at a time sometimes? summoning shenanigans. For someone who was just thrust into all this, Edward's taking this pretty well. I guess he knew it all already from the writings of Maximilian. Like, he's already made it further than literally everyone else. Do, do, do. 
This one. There we go. Oh. That was close. Ah, you little prick. So we're trying to remove the magic, so I want to dispel. At least I, I hope that's right. Having an elephant gun does help. Are we back in the same room? I think we are. Good. That means I've already killed all of the things. I'll take a freebie. I like freebies. Okay. More Pargon. Here. Always Pargon. Fuck me. Okay. gonna be not enchanted it was protected oh I was gonna say my heel didn't go off but it did shoot it again then Hit it. Tear part. Okay, it looks like if I don't enchant it, it takes five? Maybe? And when I did enchant it, it took three. So I should always be enchanting it if I can. Heal back up. Okay, we are good. A, B, E. Always be enchanting. Yes. Always be saving. Always be enchanting. Something tells me I'm going through all this and it's not going to work because I don't have the essences of the ancients. Oh, we're back here. Oh, Edward's so tired. Oh, I've been killing monstrosities all day. Okay. Or Pargon. Thank you. Got him. back here again now I can save all right we've reached, reached the tedious portion of the game don't worry I'm pretty sure I'll have to do all this again as Alex more Fargo 
Oh yes, I will scribe a part on. Oh, but luckily it keeps dropping us in places we've already cleared. Uh, I have not already cleared this out. I don't recognize a big purple pool in the middle. Oh yeah, that's not terrifying in any way. you game <laughs> oh that was the dickest of moves oh man yeah did you see what he took a drink of it's liquid courage it regains sanity <laughs> all right only two left Fight it out amongst each other. Too low, running backwards. Okay, hang on. had to be almost dead. Okay. Spell, recover. Let's go full seven. Mancer. Oh, yeah. The full heal. That was too close. All right. Stupid horrors. All right. One rune left to inscribe. Should be area. Yeah, I don't want a creature herself. Yeah, we want to dispel area. All 
All right, we gotta go. Edward's meddling with the arrays has conjured incredible energies that are now building up inside the city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Yeah, no shit. Oh shit! be if I knew which way I was supposed to go. Nice. Come on, Edward. You can do it, buddy. I know you don't die here because you died later. Recognized that fly thing, that was a guardian. Or not. Granddad died. Oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> Do you bring news of disaster, Augustus? Why, yes. Yes. Your colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been eradicated. A great magic wrought massive destruction there. Not a single guardian escaped. Your concern is touching, but out of place. There are other guardian colonies. The loss of one is meaningless. That is the only disaster oh. you report? Yes, my magnificence. There are no others. And what of your treachery to us? Treachery? Oh, He's time. like, bitch. You're not supposed to know about that. that. you bear us ill will, Augustus. It will come to no end. You lack the power to destroy me. Or even elevate yourself to our level. The future has unfolded before me through a vision. One of my many visions. A vision of my conquering the absent horror. Uliath, master of the planes. The magic of the planes is no match for the power of the mind. And thus, it will be destroyed. Then the gate shall be opened, and you shall once again grace the earth with your presence. Okay. Alex finds a scrap of paper tucked between the pages of the tome. It appears to be a note from Edward. 
So what I was laughing at before that cutscene is uh, Skull Skaparmal. I know I screwed that up again. Said, I mean, look, maybe if they didn't want to be exploded, then they shouldn't have built a nine point circle of power. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> right, sanity's low. I was like, what's going on here? Let's read this. A small note written on a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I have left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. It was my favorite tipple, and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. All right, let's see what sort of horrible crap happens on the way to the basement. Why is there just ammo everywhere? What the? This isn't really happening. There wasn't. Rat friend? Okay, you're okay. I swear I heard someone getting murdered in this room. This tilt is unreal. I don't think I've ever seen it this far. I feel like I'm gonna fall over in my chair. Like me, not Alex. There's something stashed between the barrels of porch. Should Alex pull it out? Of course, it's a pickaxe. stockpile of Edward's port, one of his many eccentricities. His taste for port went hand in hand with his appetite for knowledge. No doubt his quests were fueled by this little cash. A hefty pickaxe for demolishing walls, too cumbersome to be used as a weapon. It might come in handy somewhere else. Oh. It's a tiny little horror! Ow, dick! That was really cool. Oh, look at the tiny little hole. What would I pickaxe? Oh, the servants' quarters. It's good to know this is still all fucked up. Just checking everything out. But, oh lord, Alex, Alex. Alex, you forgot to hit them. Alex. Wait, this isn't real. They're not, they're not hitting each other. They won't let me fight back. This can't be happening. Yeah, you're right. It can't. Stupid ass sanity. Lack thereof. <laughs> 